Hello, chums. Welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. We're being quiet. We're notice we're we're in the dark here because there is no light in space. Well, of course there's light in space, but no one can hear you scream in space when it's dark and you're fla flailing off into the unknown black abyss. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. But regardless, I figured this would add to the mood playing in the dark a little bit here. You guys can still see me a little bit here, so I think this will work out. Um, but today we are checking out Observation. We're going to play a little bit of it here. This is a an uh, Epic's, uh, Epic Games Web Store exclusive. Um, I guess it, it was originally on Steam, and it was taken down because Epic has been kind of going crazy and buying... Uh, out a few different developers and the, their projects uh, to get them on the Epic Store. Uh, which is, you know, it's it's bringing a lot of uh, controversy with people who want their games all in one place and some people who want more options and places to buy games, which, hey, the more the merrier, right? Uh, but Observation looks really, really interesting. Uh, you're, you're, for anybody who's played uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, you're basically playing as HAL. Um, you're playing as the onboard computer uh, on a ship and all I know about it is that uh, things kind of go awry, and this is uh, supposed to be sort of a, a thriller, a spooky thriller. Uh, but you actually get to play the computer. Uh, so this is very intriguing uh, and going to be something very, very interesting to check out here. Uh, I am going to be sort of watching my sound settings like a hawk here. Uh, I might even turn them down just a little bit because they seem um, to be a, a bit uh, loud. Uh, as they are here, so let me let me adjust that before we get started here. Let's go down just a little bit more here. Okay, just don't want to blow your guys' eardrums out, and I don't want to drown myself out here. Uh, but we're gonna start a brand new game here, and uh, let's let's jump in, shall we? Uh, adjust gamma until center image is barely vi visible. Uh, I think we're good here. Okay. Subtitles. Yeah, let's turn the sub subtitles on. Okay. Here we go into the darkness of space. So for anybody who uh, sees this and may not be convinced, uh, because I haven't played any of this either myself, uh, they do have a free game up on the Epic Store right now that you can get. It's called Untold Stories. It's actually by the same developer who came out with Observation here. So if you want to give... Uh, the developer look to see something they may have done in the past, give them a chance. Uh, I recommend checking that out first. Uh, I haven't ha actually had a chance to check that game out yet either, um, but the concept of this game has me so intrigued that I don't really care. <laughs> 410 kilometers above Earth. It's a long way from home, boys. So here's the ship. Hmm. There we go. Let there be light. Sam. Whoa. Oh, Sam? That freaked me out. <laughs> Sam, are you there? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, Sam. I need you to give me admin access. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140, All right, I, I was going to use the mouse, but now I'm going to use the gamepad, because what happened right there, I was scared because I forgot that I had my uh, gamepad plugged in, and it it vibrated on 
on my desk with that big rumble hit. So that really freaked me out. All right, so we'll, we'll use the gamepad for this because I didn't realize that that was an option. So let's do, uh, or better yet, maybe maybe I'll go back to mouse here. There we go. I'll set the gamepad off to the side so it doesn't freak me out again. How about that? All right, D to analyze waveform. Let's analyze. Emma Fisher. Voice print errors detected. Really? So if there's errors detected... I don't know, should we accept? What happens if we reject? Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher. 140412. Alright. Let's try it again. Let's try to analyze this. I want to see what happens if we keep rejecting it. If we keep getting errors. Oh, there we go. Okay, it okay, was confirmed okay. that time. Come on, give me something. Sam, are you there? Respond. Are you there? Online status. System, systems admin and maintenance online. Hold R to enter response mode. Holding R. Certainly try. Okay, so that is 10. So we want to go to module 9. Safe, low, true, connected. Guess I should check everything, huh? Power is low everywhere, but everywhere seems pretty safe. Um, all right, she wanted the whole contact. Module nine, hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. How is the pressure in nine? So this is cool. Uh, so basically, you're seeing this whole screen, seeing the options, and you get to hold R to pick options. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? I'm definitely here. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Bring her. Clicked accept. Should I have clicked accept? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, this doesn't seem good. Alright, so she seems... Oh no, she's still there. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. We gotta diagnose everything memory, relocation, crew tracker. I see. Oh boy. <laughs> Memory's not looking too good. You got about 90% on everything. Oof, boy, almost 100 on that one. So if we hold R. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Good plan, good plan. Connection established, okay. So we got something. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. So now I can actually control the camera, camera which is cool. Should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Uh huh. So I can cycle Great. around the cameras. That's fun. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Is this it here? Aha. Uh -huh. So, so far I'm, I'm, I'm pretty riveted by this. I like where it's going. I love the presentation. Um, definitely want to see where this is going for sure. But I, I love, I, I'm already seeing like how cool this could be. This is turning into like a really sweet, like almost puzzle adventure, uh, thriller sci-fi thing. Man, this is... It almost feels like you're playing a movie in a way, which is kind of cool, but... Alright, let's see. Nothing we can do there. 
Uh, allows a crew member to reset Sam's system link functionality in the event of a software failure. This procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station wide. Only perform after a full reset. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on one second. Let's see, I'm hitting X to go back. It doesn't seem to want to let me go back. Not sure why. Am I hitting the right button? I use the old game pad again here. Huh, okay. that's weird. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Let's see. All right, we're so we're looking for the hatch controls. Switch to the other camera. Offline connection sphere. No, oh, and if you hit O, it gives you your controls and your objectives. So locate system links. Okay. Modification bay. Combustion unit, refill station. Hatch control. We are pairing. Bluetooth pairing in space. There we go. Good, good. Paired. Looks like that's working. Add another. system links we're looking for what now this one here maybe combustion unit oh it's across the way over there I see okay so we gotta zoom in add the system link all right one, two, four. Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Now we're only gonna do that be able or we only able to do that if we zoom into the other room or something. I do see someone's dead <laughs> laptop in there. Yeah, our camera can't go any more that way. Ah, there it is. Eleven. Okay. So each door does have a number on it, so let's zoom into this hatch here. One, two, three. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Got That's it. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. No problem. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. 
Josh. Houston. Somebody? Anybody? Help Anyone? me! Exactly. What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam. Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Station alert. Station alert. Right, Sam. You should have access to your OS now. Enter the Sam OS systems anytime you're pressing space bar. You can now to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Looking. Okay, we can link that one now. All right. I would assume that's the alarm there. Found it. Uh, there is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. Add a system link here as quick as we can. It is locked. See, for some reason, X is just not working for me to exit things, and I don't know why that is. Huh. It's really strange. It's going to have to keep... I might actually switch over to the uh, gamepad here just to see if it's any easier. Uh, yes. Uh, EAS 6A. That one is locked. This one. Lots of pairing. It's open. I'm on my way. So if we go to five. Relocate to that's EAS cool. three. I'll need your help when I get there. Alright. I love that you can jump around to wherever she happens to be and she's just there. That is super cool. And you can totally see what, she, what she's up to, what she's doing. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Oh, no, I'm not. One, two, three. I wasn't ready. You said you need my help in three. You didn't say go to four and open the hatch. Come on now. Sam! <coughs> Get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. All right, okay. Uh, where am I going to find the vents at?
These vents? Yep. Let's pair it up. Turn on. There we go. Vents are on. We're doing good here. Doing good. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Let's take a look. Back to yes. Oop. Meant to go to four. Please repeat your previous request. Inspect the damage in the module, Sam. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad. Considering. Considering? Oh boy. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Oh, something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Hmm. Dark red. There was maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Uh -oh. oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. Gotta figure out what's going on in 12 here. Please. If there is anyone in module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first. Process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. One uh, four four two four one three three two four. Uh, R. Two, there we go. Nine zero three four one nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Oh. Uh, we don't have much time. Go, go, go. Select so the clamp and activate. If you don't fire them in the correct order, the module might tear off. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. The one that was circling is the one that you need to select with the arrow keys. Sam, we've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think... I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Yeah, this don't look so good. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. 
just isolated sections. I mean, it doesn't look great. This would freak me the hell out if <laughs> it were me. The RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. Okay. We'll head over to the next camera, I guess. The CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact, though. Last camera. Nope, didn't mean to hit that. Back to five. We didn't finish at five. I meant to hit R. There we go. EAS 12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been. Cut out of it. What would do that? Hmm. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Oh my God. That's... How did we get here? Yeah, no kidding, right? We're by Saturn. <laughs> yeah. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Oh, something's happening. Something alien. I don't know. Wow. That's pretty nuts, though. Big time. And this is a late title card for this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What an amazing introduction. I gotta say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. And I'm not sure how much, of, how much more of this we should actually show. Check out the cool title secret, uh, credit sequence and title sequence here at least. All I can say though is I love me a good sci fi story, that's for sure. And this looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty wild, everything stitching and unstitching together like that. Observation. So there's Saturn. We've arrived close to Saturn for some odd reason. How, how lonely this shot is. Yikes. All right, guys. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it there because I, I feel like I could sit here for hours and play this. 
Um, but I, I think that's a really good look at this game. I don't want to spoil too much of it for you, but I, I got to say, in at the least, I am incredibly intrigued and uh, really want to see where this is going to go. Um, so as far as I can tell, this is awesome. This is <laughs> super, super cool. Um, but that that's observation, guys. That's a, that's a full recommend for me, at least, to check out the beginning there. Um, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of sitting here like, what's going to happen? Why are they there? What's going on? Is it an alien? Is it the, the computer taking over? Is it Houston, you know, setting up some kind of conspiracy? What could it be? I don't know. But uh, I think playing this in the dark was <laughs> probably a good choice because it was definitely tense at different times there for sure. Uh, guys, I want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to us here uh, at Video Chums here on YouTube because we come out with videos like this. Uh, and uh, also gameplay videos all the time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal channel, which is youtube.com slash watch GGRC, because I come out with all kinds of other types of videos like vlogs and reviews and that kind of thing. Um, but of course, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.